have already marked the beats and placed the clips. I will go to the first beat and split the layer. Select all of your layers and then extend them a little further. Once extended, pre-compose them one by one. Or if you have watched my tutorial on Edit Faster Tricks, you can simply do it. Easy, right? Now select all the extended clips again and make them shorter. Make sure they are still longer than beat markers or there will be some black screen in the end. Now apply Twixter on your first layer. Simply copy my settings. Make a keyframe for speed at the start of the clip. Put the values around 120. I have made a mistake while recording, sorry. Go a few frames forward and make the speed value 25. Select your keyframes and then Easy Ease. Now select the Twixtor effect and copy the effect by pressing Ctrl plus C or Command plus C on Mac. Paste in front of all clips by pressing Command or Ctrl V. Once satisfied, select all of your layers and pre-compose them together. Make a new adjustment layer and place it where the next beat starts. Add panning. I will link the panning preset in description. Or you can copy the settings for S shake from left. If you want, you can add your CC2 on a new adjustment layer. And this is what you will get. I have also arranged the clips for the second Twix tour. Here is the preview. Let's do the same step on this. Extended, pre-compose, then make them shorter again. Now apply Twix store settings will be the same, but only speed keyframes will vary. Make a keyframe starting with 155 value. Then go in the middle and put 30 and then 155 in the end of the clip again. Then easy ease keyframes by pressing F9. Now copy the Twixter effect and paste on all other layers one by one. Select all keyframes and keep pressing Alt on your keyboard and move keyframes back. Till the end, do it with all clips. Select a clip and press S. Make a keyframe in starting of the clip and put values around 90. Go to the end and put values 120 or higher. Easy, ease keyframes and go to the graph editor. Make sure keyframes are selected or the graph will not be visible for you. Now simply copy the graph. It should not be exactly the same, but you can just try to make it look similar. Now. Select the scale keyframes and paste on other clips. Uh, keyframes are shorter than video length, so we will extend them, but when doing so, it ruins the graph. Uh, let me undo this and now select both keyframes and keep pressing ALT and then move the keyframes.
Now graph is still same. Repeat this on all layers. We have some black corners around the video. To fix that, apply motion tile and put output height and width up to 250 and enable mirror edges. Once done, copy motion tile, select all layers and paste it, and you are done. Thank you so much for 12,000 subscribers. It means the whole world to me. You guys are the best. I will try my best to bring more tutorial as soon as possible. If you have any problem, you can take help from my Discord or simply email me. Have a nice day.